I'm Erin McPherson with your WMAR 2 News update. A Maryland made vaccine is entering the next phase of testing trials. Today, Novavax announced it's starting phase three trials of its vaccine in the US and Mexico. The Gaithersburg based company will have about 30,000 participants. That includes people from different races to see if the vaccine impacts race differently. The thoroughness of the study means results will take a bit longer. The Novavax study has been modified and it's going to be randomized. Every two people will get the vaccine per one person getting the placebo. So it's going to be a little bit longer to recruit the number of people necessary to really reach the endpoints. I suspect it's going to take us about three to four months to get a result of that study. The company says some people will get two injections 21 days apart, while others will get the placebo. The study will take place at locations with high transmission rates. And unlike Pfizer and Moderna's vaccine, Novavax's vaccine can be stored at above freezing temperatures. If you need to get tested for the coronavirus this week, double check your county's testing hours. With New Year's, many sites have changed them up. That includes our area's biggest testing site at the Baltimore Convention Center. They'll be open Monday and Wednesday from 8 a.m. until noon, as well as Tuesday from 2 p.m. to 8 in the evening. But they will be closed New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. For full hours and testing locations near you, head to our website and click on the Coronavirus tab. Starting off the morning with sub freezing temperatures. Definitely going to need the jackets for the morning drive. Lots of sunshine through the day, but that's really not going to aid our cause a whole lot. Temperatures will struggle to get into the 40s. I think we get there for a couple of hours and daytime highs. Chris, near 42 here in the city of Baltimore, 41 in Annapolis and Stevensville, 40 in Elkton, upper 30s from Thermot all the way to Bel Air. Seven day forecast shows seasonal temperatures linger again for your Wednesday. More clouds build and rain chances trickle in just in time for your New Year's Eve. And unfortunately, it looks like we'll have a damp start to the new year or daytime highs or in the mid to upper 50s. Thanks, Pat. Stick with us online at WMAR2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also, for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Erin McPherson. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.